Thank you for purchasing the all new Evo Additive Manufacturing Center by Airwolf 3D. In this video, we will show you how to unbox your machine and get it set up to begin printing. Start off by cutting open the box and taking out the top piece of foam. It is highly recommended to use two people to lift the machine out of the box. From the top, you can pull on the straps or on the side of the machine to lift it out. Using a razor blade, cut the straps from the top of the machine and remove. Now do the same with the plastic covering the machine with the razor blade. Cut an opening and remove the machine from the plastic. Again, using two people, lift up the machine and remove the plastic from the bottom. Once the machine is sat down on the table, go ahead and open the front door and begin removing the foam and accessories. For now, you can set all the accessories to the side. It is especially important to remove the foam underneath and from the sides of the bed. Feel free to move the print head aside if it is in the way. If all the foam is not removed, you risk damaging the machine when turned on as it will auto home. Locate the spool holders that come with the machine. There will be one for a 5 pound roll and two for 2 pound rolls. Locate the 5 pound roll first. The 5 pound roll will be installed on the right hand side of the machine when looking at the front. Go ahead and put the two screws into the slots provided. We will tighten these later. Now locate the two 2 pound spool holders and insert them onto the left side of the machine. You will first have to remove the screws and place through the clear window. Locate the tool kit that came with the Evo and tighten the spool holder screws until they are firm against the sides of the machine. We will now locate and turn on the power switch found on the rear left corner. Your Evo will be fully operational once the front screen is booted up completely. We will now install the one two pound spool of ABS filament that came with your machine. This will go on the left hand side spool holder in the front. Locate the tube and properly place your filament inside the spool holder. The filament will load from the bottom up into the clear tube which is inserted into the spool holder. Now insert the filament through the tube and all the way through until you see it coming from the top of the machine down into the area where the hot end is located. Go to the touch screen and find preheat. Now choose ABS and preheat all. We will now check to make sure that the screen is updated and that we have the latest release of the firmware on the machine. Press Settings, Wi-Fi Settings. Go ahead and choose your network and enter the password. connected, go back into settings and press check for updates. This will update the touch screen on your Evo and is separate from firmware updates. Say OK and let the screen update. This may take a few minutes. Firmware updates will be emailed to customers or they can be found on our website and downloaded at airwolf3d.com.
if new firmware has been released, you can also install it now. You can install firmware from the internal drive or from the USB stick. To install firmware, press Settings, Update Firmware, and then choose either the USB or the internal drive. If you do not preheat your machine earlier to ABS temperatures, go ahead and do so by clicking Preheat, choose ABS, and All. Now press filament control on the right hand side of the screen as we will load the filament into the hot end. Go ahead and press load at the top right. After pressing load filament, take the filament that's coming out of the tube at the top of the machine and insert to the hole above the hot end. If loaded properly, you should see filament coming out of nozzle 1. Locate the piece of glass and the bottle of wolf bite. Dip the applicator brush into the wolf bite one time and coat the bed evenly. Insert the glass by pressing down firmly onto the heat bed. Make sure the glass slides between the metal rails and the heat bed itself. The setup is now complete and you're ready to start your first print on the Evo. Read the comments section below for a link to firmware updates and other Evo resources. Stay tuned for more Evo tutorial videos by Airwolf3D.